Hello everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the portable sleep trigger. But before that, this video is brought to you by Darren Cassell and Jeff Scott. Thank you for being farm barons. So the portable sleep trigger can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, it is available for all platforms. And what is it? Well, it is basically exactly what it says. It is a portable sleep trigger. So we can walk up here, we can pick it up, and we can take it and put it wherever we want. We can put it in our pickup truck and drive it around. And why is this important? Is this important just because, well, you can basically sleep wherever and whenever you want because of the sleep trigger? No. And I'm sure you're probably surprised about that because it's advertised as a portable sleep trigger. What I see it is much more important than that. It is a portable wardrobe trigger that also happens to be a portable sleep trigger. I think it would have been a much bigger hit if it had been advertised as a portable wardrobe trigger that had sleep trigger functionality. Now, let me show you where you're going to find this in the shop and how you get it on your map. You're going to go to the build mode and we're going to go to farmhouses because it does have a sleep trigger in it. And since it does have a sleep trigger in it, you are going to want to make sure that there are no farmhouses on the map. I'm not going to be able to put down another one of these because I already have one. But basically, if we put one down, let's say right here and place it for merely $100, then every time we load up the map, we're going to find our sleep trigger here in the exact same place that we placed it to begin with. So that's key because it means that we can't go and and leave this somewhere and forget all about it. Now, take a close look at my avatar there. You see that I am in a jean jacket, white t-shirt, and jeans down there. This is why I think it's important. And this is why I wanted to show this off. Let's say that you wanted to do role playing. Let's say that you liked to change your player's avatar when you're doing different jobs. So here we are, and we need to do a little bit of spraying on this field. Well, I don't want to spray with the clothes that I've got on now. Heck no, I want to put on some protective clothing. So I can come up here to my duffel bag, and we're going to walk up here. You see the zippers. We're going to walk up to the side with the zippers, and we're going to hit R to go into our wardrobe function. And you know what? I want put on some protective gear. So I'm gonna put on this outfit and that's what I'm gonna use in order to protect myself while I am spraying my crops. Now if I get into my tractor, you're gonna see that I'm now wearing my protective spraying gear. And I can spray this field and know that if any of the liquid aerosol or liquid liquid gets into the cab, that I'm going to be protected from my skin. And I'm also going to be protected with respect to my breathing. Now, let's pretend that we are done our spraying and now we need to come over here and, well, tend to our beehive, which is right around the corner, but we don't want to get too terribly close. At least not yet, until we put on some more protective gear. So we're going to sit this down, we're going to walk up to it with the zipper side, and we're going to, once again, change our outfit to put on some protective gear. And then we're going to be able to come over here and work in our bees, and not have to be worried about getting any bee stings or anything like that. When we're all said and done, we can come back and change our outfit one last time, put on something a bit more normal for everyday work. Carry our duffel bag back to the truck where we want it to be. Put it in there, hop in our truck, and you can see we are now, once again, wearing normal civilian clothes. Now, as far as the sleep trigger function, so sleep trigger function is gonna be used 
So it's going to be activated by walking up and basically standing on top of the bag. Let's get it over here. So we're going to walk up to the bag. We're going to go on top of the bag, hit R to hit our sleep trigger. So we have to be standing on top of our duffel bag in order to sleep. And we need to be standing in front of the front of the duffel bag in order to be basically putting on our protective gear. So guys, let me know down below, what do you think of the portable sleep trigger? And did you think about the whole changing the wardrobe function as opposed to simply having a real cheap $100 sleep trigger? I think it's far more valuable to the role-playing gamer as a portable wardrobe trigger than as a portable sleep trigger. So like I said, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think? with respect to this duffel bag and all of the great potential that it has in store for console and PC players alike. And until next time, happy farming.